Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel Welding and Editing Inspection. So this video will explain you the Welder Qualification Guideline Double Comparison as per AWSD 1.1, API 1104 and ASMI section 9. So this will be very helpful for you people uh, for Welder Qualification. Every subject like the position your diameter range your thickness range from where you have to find out and how you have to find out and what is mentioned in their table or para so it will be clearly explained to you in this video so don't miss this video please from the beginning to end each page is very important so please see this video until the end so let's start the video and before that i am telling to you request to all people to subscribe my channel it can grow my channel and accordingly you can receive the notification when i upload the video and if the video if you think it is very helpful then you have to and like this one so you have to share your facebook friend or whatsapp friends so let's start So first one is the qualification for old types and holding process we need to know the old types and what are the holding process so where we can find in awsd 1.1 you can see here in awsd 1.1 para 4.17 you can check there it is mentioned old types shall be classified cgp group world pjp group world fillet world plaque and slot world now CGP groove weld you can see for non tubular connection is mentioned there if you can see the picture 4.20 PGP groove welds you can see there for it is also for non tubular connection one is CGP groove weld for non tubular connection another is for PGP groove weld for non tubular, non -tubular connection also there mention the P fillet weld for non tubular connection if you can see, see the picture 4.21.2 if you see the another one cgp groove well for tubular connection you can see the picture 9.19 so if you go the 4.17 you can clearly understand what are the requirement for weld types and holding process now we will go the api 1104 if you go the api 1104 para 6.2.2 and para 6.3.1 there is two types of qualification is there one is single qualification another is a multiple qualification there is two types of world is there fillet world and the bar world so what is single qualification single qualification a welder shall make a test using a qualified procedure to join pipe nipple or segment of pipe nipple so this is for the welder make a test the oil further if you go the uh, multiple qualification a welder has successfully completed or two tests described described below using qualified procedures so this is one qualification for one test and the two qualification multiple qualification for multiple test if you go the sp section 9 qw350 welding variables for welder you can see there qw352 qw354 and qw355 every welding process have their different sub variables so what are the requirement you are clearly understand there each welder shall be qualified for the particular welding process or processes a welder may be qualified by making test which each individual welding process or with a combination of welding process in a single test coupon means a welder if it is completed the welding with smw then he is qualified for smw if he is qualified in the in the joint in the plate it is first a gtaw then maybe smw the full and final inspection final welding has been done so then this will be the different the combination of the welding process will be approval so this is the first table AWSD 1.1 for the old types welding process AP1104 and ASME section 9. What are the para? It is clearly understood here. Now, the second one will go very important the position. If you see the position as per AWSD 1.1, para 4.20, 4.21.1, 4.21.2, .1, 4 and 4.21.3, and is very important the table 4.10. 
if you see the figure 4.16 all position unlimited thickness figure 4.19 horizontal position unlimited thickness figure 4.20 all position limited thickness and figure 4.21 is horizontal position limited thickness so you have to go that table 4.10 it is clearly understand the position which position is qualified for if you qualify for horizontal position then we have to qualify for which position it is mentioned in the table 4.10 also in the para 4.20 4.21.1 4.21.2 and 4.21.3 now we will go the api 1104 para 6.2.1 and 6.3.1 so what is mentioned in para 6.2.1 and 6.3.1 view holder shall make a bar well in either the rolled or fixed position for single qualification so in single qualification, the welder can make the part well in the roll condition or fish condition. This is first understand. Then welder, the welder shall make a part well in the fixed position with the axis of the pipe in either horizontal or inclined from the horizontal. So this is for the multiple qualification. So this is the only difference single qualification and the multiple qualification. So this is the position it's mentioned in API 1104. If you go ask me section 9, QW 405, 405.3 and 405.4, it is clearly mentioned vertical upfield progression means 3G, 5G or 6G position qualified for all position. In upfield position qualified in the horizontal vertical or overhead position shall also qualify for the flat position. So if you go this QW 405, 405.3 and 405.4, so you can easily understand qualify for the position shall qualify for the flight if it is uh, uh, approved in uh, qualify for the flight position then what are the approved qualification will be done so you can easily understand qualification in the horizontal vertical and overhead position also means self qualify for all position so if the qualification for horizontal vertical and overhead position then he will qualify for all position so this is now the you understand this is for position now we will go the third one the qualification the thickness range of base metal so from where you get the thickness range for the welder qualification if you go the table 4.11 test plate if it is 1 by 8 inch to 1 by 8 inch then qualified range will be 1 by 8 inch to 3 by 4 inch 3 4 inch test plate if it is 3 by 4 inch 3 8 inch to less than 1 inch then qualified range will be 1 8 inch to 2 t maximum test plate 1 inch and over qualified range it will be 1 8 inch to unlimited so this table you have to understand that table 4.11 if you go the api 1104 you can see there 6.2.2 e so what are the thickness can find the, if there are any changes from one specified wall thickness to another the need requalification so if there is a, any changes of the position then it should be requalification and the table 3 you can find out the <coughs> two types of requirement based on thickness one is for below on equal to 12.7 mm and another for wall thickness more than 12.7 mm so table 3 also you can check the below 12.7 12 mm what are the requirement and the more than 12.7 mm what are the requirement it is clearly mentioned in fa 1104 now you have to go ask me section 9 what are the thickness range of the base metal in qw 452 we have to check performance qualification thickness limit it is clearly mentioned you see here thickness all made thickness of bold metal qualified 2t if it is 13 and over with a minimum of three layers then maximum to be welded this is the requirement for thickness of thickness range of base metal. Now we'll go the qualification item, the diameter range of base metal. What is, what is mentioned in AWSD 1.1? If you see the table 4.1, same mention. If we see here the thickness range, it is same here mentioned the table 4.11, welder and welding operator qualification, number of pipe of specimen and the range of thickness and the diameter qualification is mentioned in table 4.11. If you go to the API 1104, if you see the para 6.2.2 and table 3, it is clearly mentioned if there are any 
from of one specified OD group to another, then read qualification. Requalification is needed. If you change there any OD group to another OD group, then they have to requalification. And table three also there is same thing I mentioned. If it is below 12.7 mm wall thickness, it is different requirement. And more than wall thickness 12.7 mm is the different requirement. If you go the ASME section 9, then QW 452.3, it is less than 1 inch qualified for minimum size welded to unlimited. If it is 25 mm to 73 mm, qualified for 25 to unlimited. If it is over 73 mm, then qualified for 73 mm to unlimited. So this is the diameter range of base metal. Now we already finished another is now we have to go the type of testing which type of testing are there you see first we will go the visual inspection if you go the awst 1.1 table 6.1 it is very clear defects related with crack base metal fusion crater crack oil profile under size oil undercut and porosity it's already mentioned with the acceptance criteria if you go the ap11 para 6.4 for a qualification test, oil to the requirement for the visual inspection, the oil shall be free from cracks, inward decode penetration, BT and mass present neat workman like appearance. So this is you have to go the for a 6.4, it is clearly mentioned. If you ask me section 9, QW302.4 and QW194 for the visual inspection, you can see here performance test coupon shall show no cracks. And complete joint penetration with complete fusion of the oil metal and the base metal. So we have to check this visual inspection in QW302.4 and QW194. It is clearly mentioned. So this is visual inspection. Next we'll go the NDE. So NDE radiography test for 6.12 and 6.16 ultrasonic test is 6.13. So these two types of this requirement in radiography test, if you go then 6.12 and 6.16, if it is ultrasonic test, you have to go the 6.13 pair. Now explain in three different condition. In the radiography test and ultrasonic test, in explain in different three different condition in AWST 1.1. One is statistically loaded non-tubular connection. Second is the cyclically loaded non-tubular connection on tension and third one is cyclically loaded non-tubular connection on compression so this is in three different condition radiography test in pair if you go the api 1104 this is you have to check the para 6.6 .6. the qualification part will may be examined by radiography or automatic ultrasonic testing using a qualified nd procedure in lieu the test of specified in 6.5 so Qualification of bar 12 may be examined by radiography or automatic ultrasonic testing is using a qualified NDT procedure. So you can check in 6.6. .6. If you go to ASME section 9, it's a volumetric ND para 3.302.2. When the welder and welding operator is qualified by volumetric ND is permitted in QW304 for welder and QW304 welding operator. So this is different. QW304 you have to go for welder and QW305 for welding operator. The minimum length of the coupon shall be 150 mm. So this is the ND requirement in AWST 1.1, API 1104 and ASME section 9. Now we will go the second one. Visual inspection finish ND inspection. Now we'll go the mechanical testing. Now you see the mechanical testing. There is in AWSD 1.1 guide bed test, radio carpet test, macro test, fillet 12, break oil test. So in the this test, you can check face, root, and side bend. It is table 4.11. Radiography examination of the test plate may be made in lieu on the bend test. So radiography examination of the test we can do. In lieu of paint test, you can see 4.16.1.1. Macro itching table 4.1, figure 4.25. Fillet will break test table 4.11 and figure 4.25. So, this is table, it you, you can get the all information from there in AWSD 1.1. If you go to API 1104, there is three types of test is there tensile strength, knee break, and the 
test maintained. Tensile strength table you have to go 3 para 6.5.3. Nick break you have to go table 3 para 6.5.4. And the main test is the table 3 para 6.5.5. So these three tests is clearly mentioned in this table. If you go the ASME section 9, if you go the ASME section 9, then side bend, face bend, root bend test, mechanical testing QW302.1. The type of number of test specimen where it is mentioned QW452. Removal of blue world test specimen QW463.2 and the removal of cleared specimen QW462.4 and 463.2.2H. So this is the requirement for mechanical testing. So if you find anything then directly you can go this table and you can find it. No need to search any uh, other uh, tables. So this I think the very clear understanding from the beginning you can see here weld types and welding forces, position, thickness range of this metal, diameter range of this metal, types of testing, visual inspection, ND and the mechanical testing. So these are the minimum requirement for welding qualification but still we have to continue in the next video but this video is long that's why we have to end this video next video will be continue with part 2 to discuss regarding the table of test coupon of pipe acceptance criteria of testing performance qualification form and the retest criteria and renewal of qualification so please don't forget to watch the part 2 video we'll upload the soon so i think this video for all helpful for all people uh, to easily retrieve the your document from the ASME section 9 or API 1104 or data WST 1.1. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular video. Anyway, I am getting good views. Thanks a lot who are viewing my channel, who are subscribed my channel. Thanks a lot. Take care, stay safe, stay home.